common problem on the bongos is with age the vacuum pipes go and what I mean go they um, what's the word they crack and let air in the system and the sensors don't work properly and there's all these little pipes here all the way down the end you can see I've replaced them with blue pipes I think there's just another one here I need to do yeah there's one here I need to change I'll miss one this one here okay I'll, I'll do that next this one here this one with the foil on there's always one <laughs> never mind I'll show you the, the parts I've took off and you can see there's quite a few of them okay that's another one done <laughs> I don't know how I missed that one and uh, it's probably because that silver stuff's put me off so I've done that one now that one's done that one's and all those are done I'm not sure it's not going to catch on the bodywork anyway yeah I think that's done I've made them slightly longer I don't know if it's a good idea or not so there's all those pipes there one's got down there one goes to the engine down there one goes over there and all, all over the place anyway <clears throat> that's done and as I say well these are the old pipes down here I'm in the garage today and um, doing some odd jobs and things like that uh, but I'd just like to give you an update on the uh, Mazda Bongo um, I've got an exhaust here I've ordered it because the price of spares are shooting up so I've ordered it and I shall fit that later on in the year it's just a centre box where we can see it centre box there and a flexible joint I can fit that myself but um, recently I had a few problems with the van and uh, one of them was the pop top um, when it was down and locked um, it's still showing the warning lights on the dashboard and that was just some micro switches needed adjusting uh, the air conditioning is still not working properly although it's been regassed um, the passenger retracting mirror won't retract and um, there's been a few niggly things going on but what I have had done is I've had the suspension upgraded and um, it's had new shock absorbers not long back and I went for this week I went for the upgraded uh, rear springs which is raised it up just over an inch and a half on the back end because it was sagging and I've also had the bump stops replaced because they were quite tatty and that's all done and um, I've done a, the job of replacing the vacuum pipes which you've, you've seen in a um, early on in the video I've replaced the temperature sensor for the temperature gauge I've replaced that and um, uh, last week I fixed three oil leaks one was the rocker box uh, second one was to do with the oil filler and the third was to do with a breather pipe um, where there was no gasket so I put some gaskets meant in and uh, oh I had the lights stop working which I fixed which was a bad electrical connection and I've also fitted a water alarm on it now so it's had quite a few things but um, I'd like to get back on with the radio now and um, so that's it for this video so thanks for watching, please subscribe and like my videos. Once again, thanks everybody for watching.